Hi, guys and guys. It's Chris Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. And this time out, I'm actually doing two separate quick tip videos. They kind of go hand in hand, but you can also use them separately. So that's why I'm breaking them up into videos. Um, so this particular one I want to show you, this is my main website, MyMediaHelper.com. If you're not aware, it's, uh, I show it all the time in my videos. Um, I once upon a time had uh, menu items that said our services. It went to different services. And this is basically what it is. This was a totally different theme that I had. And they weren't in posts. They weren't in pages. They had their own um, particular area based on that theme. So that's why I do not have um, these links anymore. And I want to get that information back. Um, I did try to plug in the old theme. And for whatever reason, they weren't there, which is fine because it gives me an excuse to make these videos. So you can do one of two things here. Um, the first thing for this particular video, I'm going to show you how to uh, find out what your database is because I want to download my database for this particular website. But if I go to my PHP, I got a million databases here. Let me get myself out of the way. I'm not sure which one is for that particular site. So I want to find out what that is. So we can do one of two things. All right, we can go to, let's open a new tab here. Let's go to Google. And I'm just going to put in uh, host, not host monster. Oh, yeah, host monster login. Ugh. Um, I want to go to host monster login. I want to log in. And da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. da, 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 da. Ooh, do, 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 do. Oh, my Lord. Okay, we got there. All right, go to File Manager. Now, a lot of your interfaces, be it HostGator, HostMonster, which is this, uh, Bluehost, it's all going to be the same interface. Uh, I'm going to go to File Manager. And once we go there, all right, I want to go over to public under, underscore uh, HTML. So my media helper, these are all my sub um, domains my offset domains, whatever you want to call them. This is my main domain, so it's on my main. Um, oops, didn't want to do that with my mouse. Um, so what you're looking for is the config file. So you're looking for this WP config. All right, you want to download that. And then I'll go over here with my downloads. There it is right there. Looks like I downloaded it before. Um, let me actually see if it's on my desktop. Uh, wconfig, wconfig test. Okay, so I did download this before. So basically, um, let me open this. I will open this in. Uh, if you haven't downloaded uh, Notepad++, eh, you might want to use that. It's a pretty good tool. And so this is just a test here. <clears throat> this is a test config. Uh, what you're going to see here is the database for my WordPress. Uh, it would be there. Uh, it's not called my database, so try not to break into that. <laughs> or you can try to break into it. You're not going to get into it. Um, this is where the password would be. OK. So that's how you find your database, and um, if you need to know which which database that that is for your particular uh, WordPress install. Okay, so let me show you just uh, another thing. You can do the same thing with um, HTTP. So I'll open FileZilla, which is the program I use for my F uh, FTTP, and I'll drag it over here because it opened on my other monitor. And then I'll just sign in and connect. All right, and same deal. You want to go to your um, your public underscore HTML. All right, if you scroll down, uh, there's your config file. You just grab onto it and just drag it over. You can just minimize this, and you can just drag it over here, and it will load on your uh, desktop or wherever you want to load it. Uh, so if you go into, let's go into like a, one of my other sites here. Let's go into my T or not to be site. So um, so there's the config file for that. If I want to find out what my database is for that particular website. And again, we'll go back to this website and I will go up one level. 
And then, um, oops, I went too far. Uh, so once again, you can go into your sub website. So I did TV, uh, TV or not. TV. I'll do good doggies for this one. All right. And then you can just uh, download the config for uh, that site, my good doggies in this case. And then I'll get the, I'll find out what the database is for that one. Uh, okay. So that's basically how you do that to find out what your database is. And like I said, this goes hand in hand with another video I'm going to be publishing right after this. And I'll put both links in each video so, so you know. And uh, so uh, with that all said, if you could please subscribe and help the channel out, I would most appreciate it. If you find my videos helpful, if you could like this video, if you could share this video, hit the bell below. And I put the my Patreon uh, link down there too. If you find my videos are helpful for you and you want to contribute, I have bills to pay just like everybody else. Uh, you don't have to. If you want to, certainly do so. And I would appreciate it. And uh, I will credit anybody um, that does that does or if you want to be anonymous uh, uh, you'll be anonymous i won't mention it okay guys and gales gales and guys i appreciate you very much and i will catch you later bye